A painful past is solved in tropical North Queensland and in the face of a French bulldog. This was one of those days for Virginia Giuffray, a day when memories of her youth went worldwide again. I'm very happy that transparency is finally happening. Virginia Giuffray's account of what she's called her sex slavery to Jeffrey Epstein, allegedly via Ghislaine Maxwell, has put the socialite behind bars pending trial next year to explain her alleged role in and knowledge of Epstein's crimes. Four years ago, Ms Maxwell was forced into a secret legal interview on claims she and Epstein kept masseuse Virginia Giuffray as a sex slave. Ghislaine Maxwell fought to keep the 450-page transcript secret and lost. It's a study in denial. I never observed Geoffrey having sex with a minor. I never saw any inappropriate underage activities with Geoffrey ever. And I never instructed Virginia to have sex with anybody ever. The transcript redacts the names of men and women the socialite was asked about, but it is possible to make out a line of questioning about this photo and Ms Giuffre's claim the prince had sex with her in the Maxwell London townhouse. She characterised things took place in my bathroom, in the bathtub itself. The tub is too small for any type of activity whatsoever, the alleged trafficker said dismissively. The words can't recall or can't recollect are sprinkled more than 240 times through the Maxwell testimony. In death, Epstein has dodged further justice for his crimes. But unless Ghislaine Maxwell can now convince authorities of her innocence, she could face up to 35 years in jail. Greg Jennett, ABC News, Washington.